30 minutes. So, uh, still showing 13.9. Turn the car off. We're gonna unplug this guy. Let's take all of these in and see what they charge it up to. He follows me everywhere. So I just went out to the mailbox and when I was out there, I was surprised to find an Amazon package yeah, with my name on it. So uh, I'm pretty certain that I know what this is. Uh, I believe, well, let's just open it and make sure. Even got a hold here already, so that makes it a little easier. This is... Today I have a product for a video that was sent to me by a uh, follower or a subscriber. He reached out to me on Instagram, wanted me to try this product. It sent me some uh, as well before. Thank you very much. But today, this one's hard to get in the... Here we go. <laughs> today I have a Odium Multiport car charger adapter. Now with this thing, I should be able to plug in one, two, three, four, five five different devices into this thing at once and they should all charge from one outlet in my car and also due to the uh, well you can't see it on here but due to the included fuse these things should charge really fast and if any fuse popped the fuse that would pop would be the one for this uh, not a fuse in my car so we're gonna check this out let's do an unboxing of this and uh, then I'm gonna find some devices we're gonna lay a few of them out and uh, do about a good 30, 45 minute test on this to uh, see how much charging we get from multiple devices at once. So uh, let's get into the unboxing and then we'll test this thing out. All right, and so before we get into the unboxing, make sure you click that like button for me, click subscribe, and check out indulgeclothing.com if you wanna grab some of the merch. Now uh, let's unbox this thing and test it out. 150 watts in your car. Let's cut our uh, little piece of tape here along the bottom. And then open this on up in uh, some very nice paper here is the actual device high powered cigarette lighter socket and look at this it even has its own fuse so like you're not going to pop the fuse in your car you'd pop the fuse on this before before anything happened I may have said earlier that these were on off switches. They're not actually on off switches, it's on and off. So literally this button controls number two back here. So like, like you turn it off, you turn it on. And then this one controls number one on the front. You turn it off, you turn it on. When you press them and they're lit up blue on the inside, that means that they're powered. Looks like you can angle it a couple of different ways. Got their logo right on the front. Very, very nice. And then included here in the bottom, not entirely sure what this is. And then look at that, two extra, these are 15 amp fuses. See the little 15 right there? So uh, two of those extra, and there's one already in here, so you're really ready to go. Oh, there's another pilly thing here. So here's your 2.4 amps, your USB-C. Six months extended warranty if you register your product. Also has their Facebook and Twitter. Warranty card, nice. Here's a uh, little manual that seems to be included. Doesn't seem to show a whole lot. Now it tells you it features two cigarette lighter socket outputs, which is the same as your car. Charge your GPS and dash cam or other devices simultaneously. So what that means is, of course, plug in two things here and have both of them charging at once. Now, here's the interesting part. Dual USB ports. This machine is built with two independent power management chips, which provide QC 3.0 plus 5V slash 2.4 amp current output for two USB ports which can simultaneously meet the charging requirements for iPad, Samsung, etc. So, by having two of those, it means that both of these should also be very fast in charging. The uh, USB-C type port is uh, just a normal 5 volt, 2.4 amps. And then it explains the fuse. The bottom of the product has a re replaceable 15 amp fuse. And uh, basically, you know, to keep your item safe. And there's apparently the buttons are on and off switch. 
And it says it has a voltage reminder with the intelligent LED display indicates car voltage or charging current properly. When I don't, I don't know where there's a screen at on this. Maybe it's hidden right here where like I can't really see. We'll have to see once we plug this in. That's basically it. So that's the uh, unboxing here. Let's get this thing in the car, plug it up, uh, plug us in a C-type cable and something else and see what kind of charging speeds we actually get on this thing. Alright, so I have a whole line of uh, testing subjects here. We're going to uh, test these with this Oldium multi-port car charger adapter. Now, uh, one thing that you will want to make sure of is, for example, like if you're using a... Uh, if you're using like a USB 3 cable here, you would want to make sure that you're actually using a USB 3 cable on the device that you're plugging in. So for example, the GoPro here that I'm killing, I'm plugging it in with the actual GoPro USB-C cable, so this should charge at full strength. Same for this port, I'm going to use the uh, iPad here because that's about the most that it uses. And this is the official iPad cable that came with it, so it should be optimal charging. Now for my USB-C port here on the bottom, I'm going to use old Google Pixel 3. I have an official Google Pixel USB-C cable to uh, use for it. And last but not least, I'm going to use a little adapter in one of these cigarette outlets um, and plug in this USB-C cable that goes to this Heimvision baby monitor. Uh, just because I needed some other device to plug in and um, test the charge. Uh, we can take all of this out to my car now, put it in, plug it up, and uh, start a timer and see what we get. I guess we can once the GoPro dies. The rest of these are dead. I, I just gotta wait on the GoPro to be at 0%. Alright, we are in the Dodge to test out the Odium multi-port car charger adapter. I need to plug this into my cigarette lighter. One here, and this one's a lot easier to get to, so we're going to use it. So we're going to take our multi-port car charger adapter and plug it in. There we go. Oh, and look! There is numbers on the front telling you the voltage. Very nice. Alright. And there's the uh, lights for these. Blue means on. And, of course, off means off. So, this is everything with it powered on. Now, i got all my devices here in the seat. I'm going to plug all these in. We're going to let this charge for 30 minutes and see what kind of charge we get. Alright, so I have an adapter here. 0.4 amps is plugged into the Heimvision tablet. So, we're going to plug this in. Now, this charging. You can see the light there. So, let's plug the other stuff up. Now, the USB-C cable is in, which is charging the Pixel 3 XL. All right, so we're still at 14.2. The next cable is in, which is charging the iPad that uh, even has a power light here. All of these devices, including this GoPro, are at 0%. And there we go. The final device is plugged in. The GoPro, the GoPro is plugged in. It is charging. So all four devices, all four devices are plugged into uh, this one device and are all four simultaneously charging at the same time. The iPad you already saw turn on. You can see that has a charging light. You can also see the red light on here. It's 1.32. We're going to come back here at 12.02 and we're going to see what all of this is on. Let's see how much it charges. Alright, so it's been 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So, uh, Still showing 13.9, but uh, now we're going to go ahead and turn the car off, and we're going to unplug this guy, and now let's take all of these in and see what they charged up to. Alright, so everything is still even hooked up, so this one I don't believe shows a percent, so let's power this on and see what we get on it. Alright, we have two out of four bars so this one's at about a actually we have two out of five bars so this one well, just went down to one but looks like this one only got to about 20 percent i got the gopro all of these were completely dead by the way 59 percent 
Wow, I did not expect that. Almost from zero to 60% almost. And uh, this was using the GoPro cable plugged into the 3.0 port right there on top, the orange one. And uh, the Heim Vision was ran off of this adapter, so that one I didn't see doing, doing very well. Let's take a look at the iPad, the probably biggest battery I had to charge. The iPad only made it to 14%. And the iPad pad was plugged in on the 2.4 amp blue one right there. And last but not least, the Pixel 3 XL was plugged into the USB 3 port. And that device, the Pixel 3, went to 53% on the Pixel 3 while plugged in with a C-type cable into this power adapter. Alright, so that's the results there. The Pixel 3 XL, 50% charge in 30 minutes. The iPad, only a 14% charge in 30 minutes. Time Vision tablet, I'm not even going to include because I can't really tell where it went. GoPro, 59% charge in 30 minutes using this cigarette lighter adapter. So, I can't say really anything bad about this. Worked exactly as it advertised, and this is truly something that I was actually needing. We had just went on a long trip, we went up to a ghost town, and then we went to Helen, and we went to an abandoned motel. And I had said then, I said, I wish I had a way to plug in multiple devices in my car and get them all to charge. Well, the Odium will definitely do that for you. I just had four different devices plugged in and got a really good charge, I feel, on all four devices. The iPad charge is really slow anyway, so it's, uh, I think 30 minutes on the regular charge on the iPad probably gives me about the same 15%. But I think that will do it for this video. Hopefully you've liked it. I'll put a link down below if you want to grab one of these for yourself. I think they're well worth it. And if you can, click that like button for me. Click subscribe. Check out Indulge Clothing for the merch. And I'll see you all in the next video. Deuces.